Hey everybody, it's Jerb. Just a silly little video about a potential Aliens Fireteam Elite idea for a new kit or character class that began over on the Discord forums with a fellow named Compass. The idea began as a joke punishment for people who did too many f annoying friendly fire kills, but honestly, I really want to see this in action as an actual character. I'm Burke. I'm Carter Burke. I work for the company. But don't let that fool you. I'm really an okay guy. They could be called Company Man or Special Projects Director or just The Burke. I really went all out in thinking about this character. Like, simple stuff. Like, uh, the uniform would be either the flat-out suit or his vest and flannel combo kind of thing. In going further though, I thought about his entire kit, like what weapon he'd have, what are his skills and perks, stuff like that, and uh, let's get into that. First up would be his weapon, the only one he'd get. There's even a reference to it with one of the challenge cards. What if that ship didn't even exist? Did you ever think about that? I didn't know. So now if I went and made a major security situation out of it, everybody steps in, administration steps in, and there's no exclusive rights for anybody. Nobody wins. So I made a decision and it was wrong. It was a bad call, Ripley. It was a bad call. Bad call. Right. These people are dead, Burke! So yeah, he'd get a sidearm. No other primary or secondary weapon. Maybe give him a little bit of a bumped up accuracy and maybe a little extra damage in the weapon, but that's it. It'd be nice to see a character outside of the Demolisher that gets some boosts for the sidearm use. Like, for every headshot it increases damage, you know, X percent, or accuracy goes up X percent for so long of a time afterwards, like 5-10 seconds or whatever. But then... We'd go a little bit further with this. Look, those two specimens are worth millions to the bioweapons division, right? Now, if you're smart, we can both come out of as heroes, and we will be set up for life. I mean, they'd automatically have an innate perk that gives them more credits per completed level or stage, but they'd also have some extra bits that make it super fun. Something like every 10 headshots increases 10% of your chance of finding rare items in the chests in the level or mission completion rewards at the end. To offset this, they could have half health bars and do double friendly fire damage. Then for his best skill. You're crazy, Bert. Do you know that? Do you really think you can get a dangerous organism like that past ICC quarantine? How can they impound it if they don't know about it? You scan the manifest near the Wayland ship? It is curious these pods are of uniform manufacture, not a field modification or expedient improvisation. They appear to be the result of an extended design process by experts in hypersleep technology. And they were designed for one specific cargo, xenomorph eggs. These devices were mass produced, not for polystation, but for general use. Wayland yutani might have many eggs in transit or storage across the frontier. Oh yeah, he'd release a facehugger. That would have a small chance of attacking your teammates as well as any of the enemies nearby. The, the facehugger door. would even have a chance to attack the user himself. Not gonna lie, this would be frustrating and hilarious to have to deal with. I don't know, I just had a bunch of silly ideas and I got a whole bunch more on the way. Careful. Looks like love at first sight to me. 